I've been asked a lot of questions that can sometimes get repetitive in the comment section or asked on Hooping Live, and I wanted to make a special video about my journey or my process of being a hooper. Um, there is a video about that actually that I made a while ago um, that I documented all of my hooping journey from day one to where I was at that time and it's just amazing to see how you progress and how you grow as a hooper. So if you haven't started documenting yourself and you're any kind of flow artist or art any artist at all, it's really cool to just kind of keep some sort of diary or video blog or anything like that just to kind of go back and look at when um, you're in your further stages of life. So I, I started hooping I think in 2009. I was at my friend's house and she had picked up a hula hoop um, and she was by her pool and she started hula hooping and like doing like the ba like getting up on her shoulders or kind of doing the basic tricks like a vortex and I remember just being completely enthralled by just thinking that was the coolest thing I'd ever seen because when I was younger I loved to hula hoop I was always the girl at recess and I grabbed the hoops and I did creative things with them I was the one that was like doing it around her neck and you know all these all these strange things without any clue that it could be so much more. And so when I saw my friend Hoop, it was this strange moment in my life where I thought, I can do that. And I really, really want to do that. Like, I remember thinking, if I could just be a really good hula hooper, my life would be perfect. And um, so I got my first hoop finally, and I started hooping, and I did it every day, and my friends and family were supportive of it and um, it, w it was really amazing to see where a plastic hoop so to speak was able to take me to <laughs> sorry um, you can tell him what he's doing sorry. my cat is drinking Craig's water right now and it's really funny Shocker, you have your own water. That's so funny. Well, I'll get you a different glass. Okay, you'll be able to see the rest of this video at hoopinglive.com. At hoopinglive.com, this is a video we're working on about Audrey's flow and how she found her flow and her story of, of hooping. But this is a quick demo of pan and zoom that you can do when you shoot in 4K and then export in 1080p. That gives you a lot of extra material to work with for pan and zoom. Hope you enjoyed.